Hey guys, it's the Annie Son here. It's been a while since I've done my own vlog, but you know, I've been pretty busy as of late. Also, I got myself a nifty new haircut. Check it out. I just got it yesterday, so I mean, I definitely feel a lot better, you know, that I got the, the Jufro off of me. Basically, what's been going on is uh, I got myself a new job in uh, technical support a couple towns away. It's It doesn't pay much, but it is full-time, and it is doing something that I'm, you know, fairly good at. It involves computers, so, you know, hey. It's a lot better than, you know, flipping burgers or, you know, being a cashier. Also, since I'm working, I'm making money, which is also a plus. Also, I'm uh, thinking about uh, getting a degree online. Now, of course, there's, you know, universities like the University of Phoenix and this one that's been, you know, bugging me to no end, which is Jones International University. Apparently, I sent them requested information. I don't. I don't quite remember doing that, but they've been bugging me nonetheless. But but instead of, you know, wasting my time doing something like that, I've been thinking about, you know, taking the easy way out and uh, buying a degree online. But wait, Andy, those are all scams. Yeah, probably, but it would still be nice to have, you know, if anything, it's just like a novelty. The main reason I want to buy my degree online is so I can uh, teach English in Japan, because basically that's, that's the main thing that's been holding me back, is the fact that I don't have a four-year degree. I mean, that's pretty much the only requirement in order to teach English in Japan, or to get a visa, a working visa anyway, is to have a four-year degree. It doesn't matter, you know, what the subject could be in, as long as you have that four-year degree. I was thinking about going to a Bowling Green State University and uh, learning some Japanese so that way I could better, you know, communicate with my customers instead of just talking in English all the time. And also, you know, to kind of get myself, you know, around town without, you know, fumbling through, you know, sign language and you know, gestures and I want to go here and shit like that. And plus, you know, I'm just, I'm really interested in the Japanese language. And, you know, I've been watching, you know, a lot of anime and, you know, I don't, I know what you're going to say, Andy, you can't learn Japanese by watching anime. Well, yeah, that's true. I'm, I mean, I do some learning on the side also. I got some videos and some books and stuff, but I just kind of follow what's going on in anime as like, you know, examples, more or less. Just kind of like as, you know, to figure out, okay, he says this here and that there. That word means this, and he uses it here, and just kind of dissecting things. And also trying to figure out how, what casual Japanese would be, so I don't end up, you know, talking like a robot when I get to Japan. And, you know, using very gaijin-esque phrases. Gaijin meaning a foreigner. And uh, I've also been watching a lot of uh, foreigners in Japan on YouTube, mostly uh, Tokyo Kuni. He is definitely my favorite vlogger of all time. I mean, not just, you know, guy in Japan vlogging, but just vlogger of all time. I mean, his, his vlogs are not only funny, but they're very, very informative about what it takes to live in Japan and to work in Japan. And just, you know, little nuances and things that they don't quite explain in, in you know, say, like a tourist brochure or something along those lines. Just little Japanisms or whatever. And uh, I've also been watching a couple others. Uh, Tokyo Swan, although he's not in Japan anymore, I've been watching, you know, several of his videos. Uh, Tikio Sam, not my favorite, but he's 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 there for a good laugh. So uh, I occasionally watch Give Me a Break Man, but I kind of feel he's going towards like, you know, the sexy Phil kind of direction where he just he's more like Japandering in a sense, kind of. You know, it's not that I hate him, but I just... I just don't like him. <laughs> then there's uh, Lense. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He he vlogs on and off, and he also tends, you know, to delete some of his shit, which I'm not a big fan of. I do not want to delete any of my vlogs. Although, speaking of which, um, I'm kind of debating between something. I've been using, you know, the name The Andy Son for a while. It wasn't my first name. Originally, I went with Andy Son. I found that it's, you know, kind of a search engine nightmare. So I decided to make it a little more unique by adding, you know, the 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 the. <laughs> in front of it, making the Andy song. So that way you know it's me and not some other Andy song. Or Andy San Dimas, who I heard here. It's very, very hot. So I made a YouTube account called The Andy Son. I haven't put anything up on it yet, but I'm kind of debating between, you know, just switching to that account and just kind of, you know, letting the whole Andy Son account kind of go. I won't delete anything, definitely not, but just not update anything. I'm kind of annoyed by people who account hop, but I mean, I'm kind of doing it for a, a good reason, just because it's better for people to search me through The Andy Son instead of Andy Son. And plus, you know, if, 
the faults fails, I could just switch back. You know, no big deal. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments below, and uh, we'll go from there. I don't really have too much else to talk about because, you know, I don't want to make this vlog, like, really super long. So, um, that's pretty much it. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. This is the Andy Song, signing out. You guys have a great effing day.